Indeed. Gang, we got a package that arrived. Let's crack this open. And let me tell you what this package is. Okay. We talked, I talked about getting this. Okay. Now, doing a comic book reading, political comic book reading called Real War Stories Number Two. Okay, independent comic book publisher Eclipse Comics that put out the comic in 1991. During that reading, that has a reading adaptation of General Smithley Butler's War is a Racket. And if you do Chicho, War is a Racket, the comic book reading should come up and the reading of War is a Racket, the book that we did, should come up as well. Oh, is here holding up. And in that comic book reading at the back, we saw a full page advertisement of cards, trading cards that this independent comic book publishing company had created. One of them was the War on Drugs trading cards, right? The straight dope on America's America's dirtiest deals. This is going to focus. There we go. On America's dirtiest deals. And there's 36 cards in this, and we read all of them. Okay. As of this live stream, 18 of them of the readings have been uploaded to SensorTube as standalone videos. They're like anywhere between two to five minutes. Okay. They are fantastic. Politics galore. Okay. History galore. You learn more about history of the war on drugs in these cards 36 cards than you will in all of history you take in high school and most likely in university as well okay now lonely piggy i gotta yeah be sore Boop. allow lonely piggy automod zap something i don't know what it's up that case is crazy knights of all comic chicho what a slap in the face to decent police workers everywhere they should at least get their boss far indeed knights of old comic i cannot believe it and here's the problem the corruption in policing in canada is systemic as well as the united states because if policing was not just there to protect property but to protect the rights of citizens of a country then other police officers would have arrested those sons of bitches and thrown them in jail or at least resigned in protest of their department being so corrupt anybody else that would do this okay they would be thrown in jail the book would be thrown at them these guys intentionally went in there to start a riot terror they're terrorists right card 33 needs to be remembered on 33 quail Here's another deck of cards that this same company put out, and I believe this was put out in 1990. Iran Contra Scandal featuring the secret team. Okay. We will as well be reading every single card in this deck of cards. This is going to contain some history that most likely most Americans or Canadians, okay, they have never heard important right you could write a bash phd thesis on this right awesome and check this out is this card number one card 32 32 cards in this one look who we got at the four card number 32 george bush and what does george bush show what is george skeletons in the closet prescott bush anyone right we will read every single one of these as well okay Doop. now let's crack this baby open <laughs> greetings dr p how are you doing i'm missing a lot of chat gang my apologies but i'm having a good time with this <laughs> what is this spencer <laughs> Spencer redeemed 500 points. Spencer, these are just points that we're redeeming. Uh, you could put comments in and your comments pop up, so I'll be sure to read them. The other thing they are is you can also, you get points by just commenting and being here. You accumulate points. But every year from now on, we're going to do auctions where you can... Um, 
you can redeem points. <laughs> you can redeem points and we'll put stuff up for people to bid on. For example, I bought a bunch of these drug war trading cards. So there's going to be at least minimum we'll have five of these up for auction where you can bid on them based on your points. And if you win, I will ship them out, out to you. This is sort of my way of um, aside from creating all the content and, and lots of love your way, uh, sort of showing viewer appreciation every year. OK, we do auctions. Echo, my favorite cops are the ones in Bolivia and Vietnam. They're actually servants of the public and arrest corrupt politicians. I hope so. I have to say the pulling down of statues is becoming most taxing. <laughs> Let's crack this open. Carlos Chicho, perfect last stream. We talked about Iran Contra. I didn't know that Daddy Bush met with the enemy and made a settlement. Yeah. Crazy. Look at this packaging on this. Nice packaging. Sweet. I like this. Oh, look at this. The seller. I like the seller. They put a little sticker saying thank you. Look at that. Awesome. Very good. This thing cost me $30 US, including shipping. Okay, including shipping. Knights of old comic chicho do you think if you were doing this in the 1950s usa uh you'd be arrested uh some of the things i've said i don't know uh but 1950s uh, i don't know uh it could go either way but yes yes and even now there is uh problem associated with um, I'm walking a fine line and I can tell you why I'm walking a fine line because I've already had that type of interaction back in 2002 okay but I'll leave it there if the need arises we will talk about it in the future echo Chicho that's Afghanistan right after 9-11 uh, I was questioned echo for talking some truth right that's almost 20 years ago echo chicho when is the next uh, point auction uh it'll be uh, most likely most likely in the last two months of the year so uh november uh november november december that's when we'll do it so we'll do it at the end of every year towards the end of every year okay uh padre included in closet w's paintings collection and gem sarcasm charming sarcasm what are you doing i'm just here for the auction points awesome good good accumulate accumulate you might get yourself a deck of cards or some comics let's crack this open look at this this is beautiful packaging man very nice very nice catholic traditionalists how are you doing let's do it in november october november this november okay that will give me enough time to ship everything out look at this Catholic Jesus and Chicho, have you discussed the assassination of Pres President uh, Mosi yet? Uh, is that the Haitian uh, president? It came up. How about how about Catholic traditionists? How about we discuss? How about we discuss which president's assassination? How about JFK? This is the card we got to and we will be reading every single card here as well okay coup d'etat coup d'etat let's see if it'll focus coup d'etat could oh, oh it wanted to focus it wants to focus Presidential motorcade route. Patsy, look at that. They got Patsy on the forehead of uh, Oswald. Who's that piece of crap showing the axe where they took out Kennedy? The assassination of John F. Kennedy trading cards. 
쿠데타 쿠데타 Catholic tradition as JFK, somewhat of a Catholic tradition of himself, indeed, indeed. Wanted for treason. We will read every single one of these. How many cards are there? Looks like there's 36 gang, and this is card number one. And they look to be in great shape. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Wow. 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 Right into the gravy. card number one okay we can't sh we can't look at all of them but just a couple just a couple ambushed that's Jackie Onassis has got to be Control Agent One, George. Oh, wow. Who's this? History you don't know. History we don't know. Control Agent Two. Guy Bannister. Oh, I gotta show this one. Oh my God. Oh my God. Mysterious Traveler. Oswald in Mexico. The back says card number 15. Go for it, Chicho. How many sets, decks of cards are there? These are perfect learning tools indeed. As far as I know, and I have one more set coming to me as well. I have one more set coming to me. And that one's a doozy as well. That one was the most expensive by a long shot. This thing cost $30 total, including shipping. The other one cost a hell of a lot more. Okay. Uh, so there is, that would make it four. There's the Bush League, which is baseball cards. There is um, our favorite dictator, uh, which is US military supporting dictators around the world, I'm assuming, or the Western world um our favorite dictators there's a comic books one the greatest comic book so that's three more so that makes it seven so far there might be another one i'm gonna try to get my hands on all of them okay i might try to get my hands on multiple copies the way we did for the drug war one but it's, it's impossible i can't find it i can't find it and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org and or julian assange and wikileaks playlist on sensor 2 for as long as up there All right padre 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 psychedelic psychedelic Xander, how are you doing? Good evening, Chicho. Good evening. Good evening. Catholic traditionist. I feel a bit disappointed. Most of my cards only teach me things like George Brett's uh, batting average in 1980. 
<laughs> well, fun. But I bet some of those cars are pretty nice uh, investments, uh, Catholic traditionalists, right? There must be some pretty good investments in there if you kept them uh, for a while, if you got some old school ones, right? I really, I've never really been into collecting trading cards. I've, I got some comic book stuff, but I didn't know they went this deep, this this level, which is amazing, which is amazing, right? Which is wow, 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 wow.